Hello and welcome. Warren Bean here, Senior Sales Engineer with Sazio. And I'm really glad you made it to this video because I've got some cool stuff to show you about new things that we are doing with our versatile retention product. So let's jump right in and start with a question. Have you ever wished that you had a tool that can efficiently and effectively manage your retention schedule with all of its appropriate categories, rules, etc., and descriptions? and be able to back that up with always up-to-date legal citations so you know exactly what the law says about why you should keep those records or in how long, and the ability to apply those policies directly to file shares, SharePoint, OneDrive, other cloud drives, and other internal systems. Well, now you can. We have taken the best uh, versatile retention and essentially married that directly with our versatile ERMS, or Electronic Records Management System, to create one platform so that you can have the policies and the application of those policies in one place. So let's take a look and see how that works. So here you have our versatile retention software as a service. We have both desktop and software as a service options for you. And this contains the full legal research database where you can find all of the relevant citations based on jurisdictions and business activities and keywords and dates, you name it as well as the ability to manage the schedule and have those citations mapped to it. And also, of course, the ability to manage the changes that you're doing in that process and get all the appropriate approvals right within the tool. Plus interview information. So as you update or manage the changes to your schedules, you might be interviewing stakeholders and applying that information to the schedule as well. Let's just take a brief look at some of the details that we're tracking in the schedules area as an example. So here we have our companies and business functions and subfunctions. You can see I've got some various uh, samples here. And for each one, we're tracking details such as retention periods, statuses, other uh, details that you can see here as far as you know, whether it's PII related, if it has GDPR activity, etc. As well as down below, details about the citations that we have mapped to these particular record categories. So for every one of them, they might have different mappings depending on uh, what operations you have, what jurisdictions you do business in, and so forth. And we could add information to this about user-defined fields, uh, other metadata you might want to add, as well as how this maps to different countries and whether you have any exceptions in those countries. So all of that is there for you to, to effectively and easily manage a retention schedule, along with that ability to conduct legal research and map the citations to that. I won't go into an example of that with this demonstration because I've got some other things to show you that I think you'll really resonate with. And that is how we now have joined this with our versatile electronic records management system so that you can run ERMS on top of and actually in the same database as versatile retention without an additional application like we used to require with the versatile enterprise system. So you can see I've got various different uh, folders and subfolders here. Um, I can go to any one of those levels and see the details. And for each one of these, I can have the properties of the folder include details from my retention schedule, such as the record series, the departments, and so on. And that in itself is a great thing because I can use this as a repository to store records just by dragging and dropping. It automatically calculates retention dates. But you can extend that functionality by pointing ERMS to other repositories. This is a concept that we call external folders. In fact, I've got some examples here in this folder. So here you'll see that I've got a number of different connectors, one for Dropbox, a database connector, a marketing shared drive, a OneDrive connector, and one for SharePoint. And for each one of these, we can do the same type of thing as we can for folders that we use for documents being stored natively in ERMS, such as assigning a company and a department and most importantly, assigning a record series, because again, that's where our retention rules are. That's how it's going to know how to calculate retention dates for the items inside. So these can be synchronized on a periodic basis or a one-time basis, depending on your preferences. And when you look at the details of the folder, these are all documents that have been synchronized into ERMS. Some of these have been changed since I last synchronized it, which is why you see those little, uh, little chain icons. But for each one of these, these will have the properties showing things like the creation date, the modified, the destroyed date, uh, as well as other properties here that you can apply in terms of other metadata, including user-defined fields. So as I click on each one of these, it shows those properties. If I want to open the document and work with it, I can. So this is showing a preview of the PDF. If this were, say, a Word document, a spreadsheet, I could edit that here and do that in line. 
But essentially, you can access all of the content within your SharePoint library from the ERMS window. You can even use it to destroy records once they have reached their destruction date, going through the same disposition approval process that you normally would. So it's a great way to index the content that you have in other folders without having to move that content, without having to bring it into ERMS, and let you manage the retention uh, process and policy just where those records reside. So you get the best of not just both worlds, I should say three worlds. You get the uh, retention management with all of the legal citations, a repository to store records uh, directly into and have it calculate retention there and apply holds and dispositions, as well as the ability to extend that functionality to those other systems. I knew you'd be impressed, and if you want to find out more, give us a shout at sales at and we can give you more information. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.